Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. With all Outlook folders, you can set auto-archiving options. Auto-archiving allows you to automatically move messages from the specified folder to an archive folder or delete them from your specified folders after a set period of time has elapsed. Auto-archiving reduces the number of items that Outlook will have to process when it opens a folder. It also reduces the amount of storage space needed for item storage in Outlook. Auto-archiving will also perform this automatically, reducing the amount of time that you must spend manually archiving items. To set auto-archiving on a folder, you need to view its properties. You can right-click on the folder for which you wish to set auto-archiving, and then select Properties from the pop-up menu that appears to access the Folders Properties dialog box. Here you can click the Auto-Archive tab to set the auto-archiving features of the folder. You have three options that you can set. Do not archive items in this folder, archive items in this folder using the default settings, or archive this folder using these settings. If you want to set the default auto-archiving behavior, click the radio button for archive items in this folder using the default settings. Then click the default archive settings button to launch the auto-archive dialog box. Here you can set how often you wish to archive by changing the number in the Run Auto Archive Every X Days checkbox. You can also check or uncheck whether you want a prompt before the auto archive runs. In the During Auto Archive section, set any other default options for auto archiving you want. You can choose to turn off or on the ability to delete expired items for email folders only, archive or delete old items, and show archive folder in the folder list. In the Default Folder Settings for Archiving section, you can set the duration of time in the Clean Out Items Older Than line. Then choose what to do with the old items. You can either move them to a personal folder file or just permanently delete them by choosing whichever option you want. If you choose to move them, you can click the Browse button and select the personal folder that you want to use to store the old items. When you are finished setting the auto-archiving defaults, you can then apply them to all of the folders in Outlook by clicking the Apply These Settings to All Folders Now button if desired. You must check the Run Auto-Archive Every checkbox to enable the default settings for auto-archive. You can then click the OK button when you have made your choices to save the new default settings and return to the auto-archive tab. You can also simply accept the default settings by clicking the OK button instead. If you selected the Archive This Folder Using These Settings choice on the Auto Archive tab, you can then specify when to clean the folder and what to do with the old items, just as you did with the defaults. However, these settings would only affect the current folder. When you are done, click the OK button to set the auto archiving properties for the selected folder. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.